Hello, and welcome to Thrive Affirmations and Reflections. Since there are infinite sources to draw from, I've decided not to limit this site to one book. Therefore, today's reading is written by the late and great award-winning author, Richard Wagamese, and is an excerpt from his novel, For Joshua, featuring Carla Hunt Photography. Home. This is where we fit, where we belong, and it is from here that our teaching sprang. We are who we are because of this land. When we stand upon it, even now, with all of the changes that have scarred, marred, and made it less pure, we can feel the eternal connection that exists for us when our hearts are open. The sense of oneness that happens, the feeling of connection as a result of our hearts being in tune with the land, resonating with each change, thrumming with energy of its ongoing creation at the wonders of each new season and beating with the eternal rhythm of the drum at the center of it all. Feeling and sensing it in the soles of our feet makes us whole. When we traveled about in the days long past, it wasn't just a search for permanence that drove us. It was for the experience of the land. We were perfectly at home wherever we were, at peace with and seeking an ever deeper relationship with it. Our travels gave us new perspectives, ways of seeing, teachings, and a renewed sense of ourselves that we carried within our hearts. That's not found in any book or taught in any school. Though it's true, Indigenous and people native to the land have been robbed of many things. Canada, as an example, is not a nation first. It is people. It is the feeling of the land, and it's the feeling of the people on land for the land. Not only for those of us who are here first, but everyone. Most who call this home love it. All lives I met in my travels, from farmers to seamen, coal miners and steel workers, all reflected on the lands of which were brought more alive through stories, music, and recited poems shared around campfires. All stories come from generations on the land, heartache and loss, disillusionment and sorrow, success, celebration, and dying. The very same place our stories come from. Truth is, everyone whose first breath was taken from the crystal clearer of Canada is native to this country. Everyone who has ever laid a loved one to rest within the breast of this earth has a spiritual tie to it that is as strong and as valid as our own. Everyone who can trace a line to ancestors here and whose lives have sprung from relationship within the land and whose family story is one that includes hardship, struggle, and a reclaimed dignity has a right to claim themselves as a native to Canada. This angers some, but in truth, original instructions given us all from the Creator were to welcome and nurture others, to walk gently upon the land and do each other no harm. This is our role and responsibility. Remain connected to, live in feeling, and travel inside. Take the sacred journeys and become more and more real. The soul knows each of us. Everyone has an indigenous spirit within and carries in each beat of our hearts the wails and chants of singers and dancers shuffling steps in praise of the earth. Memories that flicker in every move we make in this modern world. They call to us in times of trouble, ebb and flow like tidal waters. Our spirits long to be reconnected to them as deeply as any thirst to return to the fires where we gathered against the night, lived in harmony, balance, brotherhood, and belonging. Although we may never return to this entirely, we can all grow in unity of our shared heart and find balance in living, humility, honesty, truth, and wisdom in all of our dealings with each other, all our relations. See more of Carla Hunt's amazing photos in link provided below. Until next time, remember to rise and shine, be a light, and thrive on spirit strong, everyone. Please subscribe to Clothe the Distance through the World Wide Web. Thanks, and bye for now.